Hi everyone, today we're going to be planting cilantro indoors. Hey, it's Diane from Diane Mom Garden Videos. Done this before and they've done pretty good. So I'm just going to do it in a flat this time. And when they germinate and get so big, I'm just going to take and trim them. Cilantro grows okay outside, but it's got to stay cool. As soon as it gets fairly warm, they seem to bolt. They just don't do as well. But I like to just scatter them. There's going to be quite a few. And when they come up, I'll just harvest them early instead of taking and putting them out in the garden. Just gonna harvest them right here indoors. There are no rules to this. Make up your own sometimes, right? Cilantro likes darkness for germination. Cover them about. I always say about the thickness of the seed. It's a good, it's a good general rule of thumb. You don't want to bury them too deep. I'm just gonna water them in. And say like coolness. They don't need no heating mat. Gonna germinate right here in this room in the room temperature we have now, now all I'm going to do is put a little another tray over them like so check them every day for dryness make sure you mark them so you know what they are April 17 update on the cilantro nothing happening yet I'm putting these on the heating mat April 21st, the cilantro is doing well. Look at all of them that have come up. And you know I decided to put them on the heating mat and that really helped. April 28th, the cilantro is growing very nicely indoors. As you can see, they're getting some of their true leaves now. You can see them coming out. So I should get a few of these transplanted and I might do that. And then the rest, I might just let them grow in this flat and then cut them off and use fresh. May 2nd update on the cilantro. Well, they're doing good, aren't they? Look at the new leaves coming. These could be cut already. I could cut these already. I wouldn't be afraid to do it, but I want to let them get a little bit bigger. I also could take, pull some out and transplant them into another pot so I could have some to put outdoors. But cilantro grows really good indoors. So don't be afraid to do it. Look at that really nice May 4th update on the cilantro take a look what do you think these do have a tendency to stretch indoors right so I wanted to put a few in some six packs just by themselves you can come along with me today and we'll transplant a few of them but you can see how tall they're getting now the idea for me will be just to trim these back and harvest them like this They'll be just like cilantro microgreens, basically, because they're actually ready to go. But if you want to grow them into a full-size plant, then you're going to want to plant them. Well, I'm going to get an empty six-pack because they're really stretchy right now, really tall. This is how I do it. Since they're so stretchy, I like to put them pretty much all the way down in the, in the inserts when I, when I transplant them. So you can see how tall... Look at that, they, how stretchy they are, right? I'm just going to put them down like that. Really simple. They're going to go all the way down. But if you're putting in whatever pot you're putting them in, make sure you, if they're getting too stretchy for you, I'll make sure you put them down as far as you can in the pot. So these will get planted outdoors. They don't do great outdoors because it seems like in our area it gets hot so soon. They like cooler temperatures. They will bolt earlier. This is supposed to be a slower bolt one. So we'll just see. See, they're not even they're not even fun to really mess with because they're just too tall. So now I just put some soil in. So this will be one reason why I just like I direct sold them into this big one. But I always like to have a few that I can transplant out in the garden. This way, if you're doing it this way, see, they're, they're not tall anymore, are they? 
move that dirt around a little bit so this is only because I want to put some outside now I can harvest them indoors here right now but I'm gonna let them get just a little bit bigger and then harvest them so we'll let these grow a little bit more and then I'll take you through the harvest part of it they're so easy and they smell very very strong just these little seedlings do and they are getting their true leaves already as you can see here so they're actually developing into a nice little plant already okay, so this would be an ideal time to cut them back and to use them May 18th update on the cilantro check this out these are basically cilantro microgreens they're basically a little more than a they're a little bigger than that already but these will be cut off and just put in for I'm just going to be freezing these I think or use fresh but don't they look nice these are nice and green they're doing really well and we probably will harvest them shortly and I will be doing that on this video but let you know that how easy it is to grow these indoors the ones I transplanted are doing fine I'm only going to need a few but this will be enough for us because we don't use a lot of cilantro but just look at that isn't that really amazing you guys and gals can do this too very easy to grow indoors hi everyone so now's the time to harvest the cilantro it's nice and full isn't it so we're gonna have quite a bit here the seedlings are probably about four inches tall somewhere in there three to four inches tall the next thing after we harvest the cilantro we are going, I'm going to show you a few different methods to preserve your cilantro because there's no way that you can use this much at a time, right? So we're going to have a few different methods and I'm going to take you through those methods. So let's bring you in right now. Stay tuned and we're going to be harvesting this cilantro. Okay, so we're going to cut this down and it's very possible they may come back again. So I'm only going to cut them so far and I'm going to see what will come back. So they're going to go either outside back in my greenhouse or in downstairs again. So we'll just see how that goes. So all you really need to do is just take and grab a handful. Some of these I'll probably get too low that they won't, the growing point that they will not come back. But I'm not going to stress it at all. I'm just going to start cutting. Oh boy, you should smell this, guys and gals. Oh wow, it is very strong. Now, my husband and I, we do like a little bit of cilantro, but we can't handle very much because it's just so strong. Look how green and lush that is. When you do that just go ahead and clean it up kind of nice now there's very possible I would not get another small harvest on this so I'm going to keep it okay you don't have to but you can sure try there's my harvest now since I've been watering these and kind of feeding them I just use my regular water with a uh, compost tea which you don't need to do but I did because I was feeding the other plants so if you do something like that, you're going to want to wash these. Here's my first method in storing fresh cilantro. You can use a paper towel. You're going to want to take a small handful, or however much you want to use for the week, or these will last up to three weeks, it says. You're, you're going to want to roll it tightly. You do not want to wash this doing this method. Okay, when you get that done, next we'll just place it in a bag. I am going to fold mine just because I have a smaller bag. Set it in there, get all the air out, seal it up. Now this is for fresh in the fridge. They say it should last up to three weeks. What I will want you, what you will want to do is check these periodically in the fridge during the week. Just check them and see how they're doing. You might have to pull out a few of the, of the leaves. You might have to, um, you know, just pull it out and clean it up just a little bit. Okay, that's one method. The next method is 
I'm going to just use basically I'm going to pull off some of the stem and we're gonna I'm gonna have to wash mine you can see what I'm doing I don't want all that stem but honestly if you chop it up real fine I think you're gonna do okay anyway some people will just use the leaves section and next you're gonna to want to wash your leaves now you will not have to do this if you just were growing them under lights in just regular water. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Use a paper towel. If I had a salad spinner, I would definitely be using a salad spinner to get the excess water. Pat it down. The next thing we're going to do, and like again, I'm using some of the stems. I'm not going to get too serious about this because I think this will work just fine. You're going to want to just take and, and cut it up as fine as you want it. Oh, the aroma. What's the benefits of cilantro other than their taste? They're a really good source of an antioxidants. It contains vitamin C, provitamin A and K as well as trace amounts of the following folate, potassium, manganese, beta carotene, and so on. There's so many benefits to cilantro. Or right, the next thing we're going to do is you got an old ice cube tray. We're going to measure out how much do you think you use in a recipe. So basically for me and for us, I'm just going to do and if you get some long straggling stems, if you don't want them, pull them out. But I'm just going to measure out like a tablespoon. Set them right down in the tray. I'm going to do an olive oil method and a water method. And this just helps to preserve your cilantro a little bit better. I have tried it, just placing it in the fridge. It did okay. It might have got a little freezer burnt. And, the, and these will probably last a little bit longer. So once you get your cube trays filled, if you want to fill them up, I'm only going to do a few at a time here today just to, to give you guys and gals the idea what to do. Now I put it, again, I put a tablespoon of fresh herbs in each little section. The extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to fill one up, couple up with oil. Just cover them, cover all the herbs. And then we're going to do some with water. Water is going to be the least expensive way to do this. From there, once you get that all filled, place it in the freezer until frozen. The exact time, I'm not sure, but just kind of check it throughout the day. Once you get that done, then we'll come back and I'll show you what you do next. I just tasted the stems. It tastes like cilantro to me, so why not use them? I'm going to finish up here chop in this cilantro and finish up my cube tray. Again, you do have the option of just pulling leaves off if you don't want those stems in there. Let's finish up here. And just take and kind of push them down a little bit and then we'll finish pouring the oil and water over them. I think I'm going to like the oil method a little better and I do feel that they're going to last longer in the oil method. You guys and gals think you can do this? Absolutely. Top them off. Should be fine. Place it in your freezer and let them freeze up. In the freezer we go. All right, it's been a couple hours. Let's check and see how they're doing. I can see that. Uh, Watered ones will come out easier than probably 
Just got to give them a little more twist for the oil ones. That one wasn't quite, wasn't quite done. So you probably should have left them in just a little bit longer. All right, so now this is what we do. We'll hurry up and get them in a freezer bag. The oil ones should have been left in a little bit longer. But you get the idea, right? So let's hurry up and get these in. They don't, they melt pretty fast. Now all you'll have to do is pull one out when you want to use it for your cooking. You're going to want to use it in a cube form. Get all as much air out of there as you can. Make sure and date them and pop them right back in the freezer. All right, this completes the video and I appreciate you watching. And I will also have some information down in the description box on how you grow cilantro. And make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like what you've seen today. I'd appreciate it and it helps me grow my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye now.